Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock where today we have to be apparently an assistant for Chi. He asked us to do this yesterday and uh, yeah, interesting. Also, I am making paint for Unsure, that is going on at the moment in the background. And doing commissions as well. Okay. Do I have any... Oh, good grief. Do I have any scrap... Oh, loads and loads and loads and loads of copper scrap at the moment. These recyclers are kind of... Kind of rubbish at the moment. We're waiting for the civil recyclers to be researched and then we can start on that but at the moment we've just got these basic ones and there's a sandstorm going yay oh it's like a half sandstorm there's a sandstorm but it's over there that's interesting water from burgess lovely sand jujube cakes from mabel and cantaloupes from zeke Thanks. Okay, uh, the first thing I'm going to do this morning then is I'm going to head over. Oh, what's Coop got going on? Part time work Howdy. at the ranch. Um, yeah. Sure, we'll do weeding. I don't mind weeding nearly as much. How much money do I have now? Like, I'm I'm really trying to save up a nice amount of money to donate, but not having the horse is so bad too. <laughs> Maybe I could just like get a yak mill. They don't cost as much. Oh, there's like a cheap horse and a yeah. Let's get the cheaper horse then. That's all right, 500. Hi. Probably doesn't have quite as much stamina and speed, but oh, that's better than nothing by a long shot. All oh, right, so that's where I need to install the thing, okay. But actually what we want to do is to weed some oregano. Apparently I already did some of them. You know, last episode when I was like, I don't know why I'm weeding, why I'm picking up this oregano. That was why. And yes, oregano is how pr British people say oregano. <laughs> American people say oregano. And many, many other things that are different because we are different people and live in different places. Doesn't mean anyone's wrong. I like the red coloured horse. Like brown, browny red coloured horse. Okay, uh, I have done all of that weeding. Uh, Coop, where are you? Oh my goodness, there's so many things on the map today. It's insane. A fake friend. Church dormitory. Temple. Blue Moon Saloon, part time work. Okay, I'm going to head up around the temple area. And then swing around from there. Oh, but I'm supposed to also go to the research centre, so let's do that first. What do you mean I'm getting overwhelmed requests? Not me. You're here. All right. Today is your first day as assistant to the director. Okay. Your first job is of utmost importance. My previous experiment produced much detritus, and it is in need of disposal. Right Direct. away, boss. I'm good. Now, before you finish, please do not disturb me. There should be a feather duster somewhere if you need it. No, I always have a feather duster on me. Sand is, sand is too annoying. Oh. Okay, I'm not using my feather duster then. I'm using a broom, apparently. Oh, 
this life is such a mess. Okay, she, I, I've done your. Shh, do not distract me from my work. Uh, was there more? Oh, there's one pile of books. Top secret data. Do not open under any circumstances. Oh, okay. Are we done? Very good. Now I will assign you your next task. There okay. are many relics in that cabinet. Organize them for analysis and write a preliminary report. Okay. Oops. <sighs> Your cabinet almost killed me. I'm sorry about that. Do not worry about it for now. Let's carry on. Now, let us continue. As a builder, I suppose you are not particularly familiar with report writing. I will give you a briefing. Yes, please explain. Take the relics from the shelf with care, observe, and research. The information gathered should be divided into appearance, form, and assigned research value. It is then written in the preliminary report in BGA format. Since it is your first day, I will not assign you too many. We are aiming to focus on quality rather than quantity. Fifty reports should be adequate. Fifty? I don't understand your logic. As a new assistant in the research field, shouldn't you want to be associated with as many relics as possible to get familiar <laughs> with the research process? Where's the builder? Ah! Oh, oh, you're a hard one to find. You're looking for my assistant? Is something the matter? Huh? Your si What? Director, we have an urgent situation here. Enough of the jokes already. You have to help us out at the temple. A pew broke. Wait! The builder was hired by me through official means and according to regulation. If you leave now, you're leaving without permission, and I will take that as an official resignation. In addition, if the builder goes to help your church, then what? They repair some tables and chairs? How does that compare to important research? Do you not understand what is at stake here? The church's work is also important. Besides, all work is important. Everything is the same under the light. Ah, I understand. You wish to sabotage my research. <laughs> Has your disgust with the old world no limits? You would interfere with the progress of science? Science? You know I love your silly voices, Director, but now is not the time. Assistant, <laughs> please show our intruder the door. Oh no, I want to choose. Oh man. I didn't go this way last time I did this quest. I don't know if it's changed or if it's because I questioned the number of things I had to do. Good grief. Um, sorry, Chi Sanrock needs me. I'm a builder. You wish to resign? You heard the builder. They're resigning and you can't stop them. <sighs> Very well. This is your pay for your working hours. I'm not angry. <laughs> I'm just disappointed. <laughs> if you don't mind, I have work to do. Okay, if you want to see the other uh, way that that mission goes, go and look at the early access because it played out very differently there. Wow, I didn't notice back there, but you look awful. The things you must have seen? I can't even imagine. Are you still okay to help repair the temple? No problem oh, at all. I'm glad you're okay. Thank you for your help. See you later. That was so cool. Alright then, um... I'm gonna head up to the temple anyway because it seems like because it's a Sunday just everyone is up there anyway so all of the quests that I need to hand in and things are up there. I need to take some commissions as well. I've been a little bit less worried about the commissions lately. Oh, what's going on here? How could you betray me like this? To think I loved you once. <laughs> <laughs> That's me when I can't read something.
Oh, well, if it isn't my goodish friend, Skinny Arms, skulking outside my chamber door on the off chance you might bask in my stout-hearted, rock-ribbed emanations, no doubt. Well, today is your lucky day. I had some noises. Some? Ah, <laughs> oh, that was simply an unfortunate altercation. I seem to have been let down somewhere. Ah, skinny. I can't hide it any longer. As the sand rocker I respect the most, and whose demeanor is also the most pen-like in disposition, perhaps it would ease my heart to confess to you. You see, I was action rolling over to my mirror after finishing my new 10,000 squat routine to check my post-workout pump when I discovered to a mix of glee and horror my muscles are now too burgeoning to be contained by the surface area of my mirror. <laughs> Pen, if you take one step back, you get smaller in the mirror. He doesn't know this, does he? And in my moment of despair and anger, mm -hmm. it, my mirror, I broke my mirror, Skinny. I smashed it to a thousand pieces. That is seven years bad luck. You must understand these muscles, this perfectly crafted form, they do not come cheap or easy. No, they need constant care and attention. People have labeled my physique quantum musculature, as only through observation does it take a defined shape. So you can only get buff if you look in the mirror. That explains so much. But I digress. The undeniable truth is, my gains have been exceptional lately. Look at my pecs. No, no, I mean really look at them. Outstanding. I mean, it's amazing they fit anywhere. What are pecs? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, you know, <laughs> pecs. Pectoral muscles, the upper chest, <laughs> chesticles, the crown jewel of the diligent bench presser. Try to keep up over here, Skinny. Chesticles, really? So, without a full and complete view of my body, I cannot truly know whether or not I've maintained my expected level of perfection. I need vision. I need a true view of my developments. I could build you a bigger mirror. Why? That would be precisely what I need. Ah, oh, Skinny, you read me like an open book. You, well, like something cooler than a fluttery old book. But yes, you're exactly right. A larger mirror. Oh, but why stop there? Not just larger, better, faster, stronger. The most advanced mirror known to man. Yes. Mm. But a pinnacle of scientific achievement such as this, you'd only be able to build something so advanced with the assistance of the research guy. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. All right, Skinny. Here's the plan. You run over to the research guy's house and order up an extra jumbo high-tech mirror. Meanwhile, I'll sit around and wait for you to build it. Can you handle this for your protector? Sure. The ever-reliable so skinny arms. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Off to the research building then. Chop, chop. My muscles aren't going to gawk at themselves, you know. Very well. Who's the muscliest of them all? So, let's head into the temple and I think that I might then be able to hand in a couple of quests. Um... One to Cooper. I finished the part-time ranch yeah. work. Good. You got any blisters on your fingers? Nope. Then you're not doing it right, though. Can't argue with the results. But Here's your pay. What can a humble saloon owner do? And then um, Owen, I think, wants more stuff. Uh, uh huh. Uh, want some potatoes. Okay, well I will plant those pomatoes because I don't have any of those yet and that's kind of handy to have. Is that all of the stuff that's in here? I think it is. Get so to let the us park leave. Park. Poor old Pebbles has to sit at the back. Can't he sit with his mum? 
What a shame. Hey, what else is going on around here? So there's, uh, who's the deputy? There's something going on down there. Um, and then there's something more in the research center, which will be the next bit of mus muscly boys quest. And then there's also the yakmel that I need to build. Okay. So I think we'll head over to who's the deputy and then we'll head all the way down there, I think. Come, come, horse. This horse is just as good. I don't need to be doing expensive horses, do I? Oh, oh, oh. One second. Oh, yeah. Well, that was some terrible horse control. I just realised I can go steal things from Yan. It'll be just like the old days when I used to steal things from Higgins. Look, he's got some like... He's got one piece of bronze there. He must have actually done some work today. That's it though. You can steal more from me, Yan, but I don't like to do that. Because it's really mean. Right then, let's have a look at what's going on up here. Sorry, horse. Hey, Builder. I got a real important official Silver Core commission for you. Uh, if you got the time for it. I really probably don't, but go on. Well, if you're standing here talking to me, that means you must have time. <clears throat> Basically, all I need is an official Silver Core deputy cap for the upcoming promotion ceremony I'm organizing. Ooh. Oh, and you should join the ceremony too. Being all that's transpired recently, it seemed only right to make you builders honorary members of the Silver Corps. Which means you may very well be making your own deputy cap. Well, maybe. That's right. The next deputy of Sand Rock might even be you. Are you just trying to get me more motivated? Hey, don't look so surprised, partner. Even new members of the Corps can be considered for the position. And you really showed that Giggly boss guy who's boss. Anyway. I just wanted to commission a deputy cap for the ceremony. Whoever gets promoted gets the cap. So, what do you say? Leave All right. It to me. Hats off to you, partner. Uh, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Here's a recipe for making it at your work table. Come drop it off when it's made. Lovely. Right, so the next thing I need to do is head out into the desert. Um, well, that's one way to do it, I guess. Whereabouts was it? I am losing track of myself. Oh, I need to go a little bit over this way. Okay. Sketches, the minutiae of detail. Uh, uh, um, I mean, hey, what's uh, up? Ernest is holding something in his hand. Some sexy girl sketches. Uh, this, it's not what you think, really. What was that? It was. It was just a drawing. You have to let me explain. Truly, think of how many conflicts and stories could have been avoided altogether if the protagonist simply stuck around and listened when someone says, let me explain. Ahem. So, this is just a drawing of a model meant to show off some clothing ideas. Yes, it's Amira. No, I didn't draw them. And yes, she wanted to be involved. Okay. I'm a stand-up guy. You know that? And so is Pablo. Uh-oh. What about Pablo? What did I say, Pablo? I think what I was saying is, I'm a stand-up guy, and so is Pablo Lee. Lots of people. All right, all right, fine. I'll come clean. Pablo asked me not to tell anyone, but no point in hiding it now. He drew up these wonderful designs for clothing, and then buried his sketchbook in the sand! He says his dream is to be a fashion designer. 
And I don't really have a plan yet, but I just had to dig them up. Yeah, like, they are really good designs, to be fair. Please tell me you just wanted to recreate your childhood sandbox experience and you're not seriously digging up my... Yeah, he was digging up your sketches, ah, Pablo. You are here as well, I see. Just passing by? Okay, never give up on your dreams. Um, I see you've managed to keep your mouth shut for all of ten seconds, Ernest. Bravo. <laughs> uh, drat. I wonder if the darling Vivi would find it too macabre to sew a zipper to your mouth. <laughs> Pablo, you have some... Um, I actually want to see a lot more of Pablo, because if, if that is Pablo's humour, then I am all for it. Yikes! <laughs> Look, it was an accident! And you! You were just on the way to somewhere else, weren't you? Seems a bit off the beaten path to me. What luck? Yes, let's talk about luck, shall we? You like spilling secrets? Why don't you try your luck as a two-bit paparazzi for some trashy atar and rag? By the way, I read your article in Kids today, and it was pure real. That is the most interesting way I've ever heard pure royal pronounced. Okay, so. Ernest is just trying to help you. Yes, apologies. I do have a tendency to lash out. And it's hilarious. Do you have a pee for Pablo on your top? You do. Thanks for your concern, but this is just kind of how we talk to each other. The way Pablo just rolls these snappy insults off the cuff, it's so impressive. I don't even take offense. I mean, if I could learn to write stuff like that for my characters, I think my next book could really make waves. Beware, for when waves are made, the friendship may soon capsize. <laughs> See? It's stuff like that that makes me want to endure pretty much any amount of scathing critique. Forgive me, Ernest. My impulses have gotten the better of me. But make no mistake, my decision to bury these drawings was not one of whim, but of careful consideration. Back at his studio, he seemed absolutely adamant. But it seems he's already letting his guard a bit. I think me being here is probably not helping. Why don't you try talking to him? I love his spiky shoes. <sighs> well, I hate to cut our little run-in short, but I'm not feeling so well. How long can you leave Yak Mel Milk out? Looks to be less than 24 hours. Oh, hey, I guess if Pablo doesn't want his sketches, you can have them. Here. Yes, I'm feeling a bit ill as well. From your sickening performance, Ernest. Caught red handed. Indeed. Claims to have an upset stomach. Runs off like it's the 100 meter dash. At least limp a little, Ernest. <laughs> I suppose he just whispered something infantile into your ear. Don't let Pablo give up on his dreams. I'm a little baby. Last part. Last part was Adlib. He is young, naive, blind to the ways of the world, and he has everything given to him on a glitzy silver spoon. You think I would just give up on my dreams at the drop of a hat? No, only after being dragged through the dirt. Look around you. This town is a wasteland, covered in trash and dust. This town is drying up, and with it, the last ounce of culture these people have ever known. Few of them don't even bathe properly. And that's one thing I don't need to gossip about. No, no. You'll know who they are. You can smell them. When life <laughs> is on the line, when every day is a struggle, when each and every one of these yokels is wondering where their next meal is going to come from, there is no space for art, no place for beauty, no time for dreams. You have a talent, Pablo. Thank you. Each time I hear such words, it gives my heart hope. And yet, with only a second thought, these hopes are again dashed to bits. Let me pose you a question. The drawings you saw just now, would you pay for such a tire? Absolutely. Really? Huh. Well, you're not just being contrarian, are you? No. Heidi, Amira, Ernest, these are my admirers. Yes, it would be my honor to enhance their outfits. I could decorate them from their braided heads to their stilettos. Alas. Sounds better and better, come mm -hmm. on. Well, if you really like it, I suppose that means I have supporters from Atara, Sandrock, Barnara, and now Highwind? Yeah. Uh, 
I do wish the lovely Amira could have been from somewhere other than Barnarok. But, nevertheless, it could be said that I have quite the national appeal, no? International appeal. All right, darling. Perhaps you've made something of a point. If, and this is a big if, if Sandrock were to become a more popular travel destination, hmm, mayhaps there truly may be a chance. A brand, a penthouse studio, a fashion show. When the time comes, I'll build the stage. Thank you. I await the day I can rally the call. Our discussion has been most enlightening. Let us speak more of this at a later date. Goodbye. I am looking forward to that, Pablo. That's going to be so cool. All right, what else is going on today? I'm glad I went to see that. That was really awesome. Like, I've not learned enough stuff about Pablo so far. Okay, so probably the next thing to do would be to run on over to the research center and get Muscly, muscly Arms' as, uh... <laughs> That's his name now, Muscly Arms. Muscly Arms is mirror done. Right. Oh, so much better on a horse. I'm so glad that it doesn't you don't have to spend like quite so much money. What's this place? The mysterious man has What? He has a house? Said to be a house owned by the mysterious salesman. The door's locked. Didn't the mysterious man always have a house, like right next to the research centre, underneath Mian's? And did I just not know? I am very confused. Hi. Making now I need a thing. Scientific now I need today? a mirror. I needed a yakmel yesterday. Now I need a mirror. Hmm? Ah, the homunculus man has once again requested the design for an item far, far beneath the technological requisition standard of anything produced at this research center. How troublesome. <laughs> the last time he asked, I meticulously surveyed the exterior of my building to see if perhaps someone had mistakenly put up a sign reading furniture store. As I had originally hypothesized, no such sign existed. Mm -hmm. The only logical conclusion I've been able to draw based on the available data is that Mr. Penn believes us to be his personal furniture acquisition assistants. You see, I sometimes wonder, like, if, um, if Pablo was saying all of this, it would be, like, really, like, sarcastic. But I don't think Chi really does sarcasm. I think he is actually serious about all the things he says. Which is particularly perplexing when taken into consideration that there is in fact already in this town a carpenter, albeit of dubious competency. Sometimes I wish that that homunculus man would just... <clears throat> Leave you alone? Yes. I believe I know a way, with your help, to indeed assure ourselves that we will be making no more mirrors. At least, not for our mutual associate, Mr. Penn. Expect a diagram in your mailbox within a day or so. Thank you for this discussion. It has been most enlightening. Dangerous, right? Mm. I think this time I can honestly answer that with a no. Good luck. <laughs> I had to ask. Okay, I better plant my potatoes next, I think. Oh, one thing I meant to do while I was in there. Turn around, turn around. I think if I go in there after a day or two it's less expensive to expediate the so i might be able to still expediate by a day or so the civil recycler 28 and i have 29 let's do it i can go get more i can go and do a little dig for 10 minutes and like get another load it's fine i will need to do that like as soon so I can get my civil uh, furnace going as well. All right then, so planting potatoes is our next thing, and then maybe digging up some data disks. We'll see. Looks like some of these are running out of fuel. Oh, my paint's ready. Is there like a thing in my calendar telling me when when we're doing the painting? No, I guess it'll just pop up whenever we're ready.
Oh yeah, I need to repair a pew in the church. Make a deputy cap. And talk to Unsure as soon as... Okay, I can just go and talk to him. That's fine. It's kind of hard to repair the pew earlier because everyone was already at church. So that was a bit difficult. Okay. Oh, have I used all my straw? I think we might need to go over to Burgess's place and get some more straw. I'll get another 50. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to run all the way back. So I'm clearly going to add an extra inventory slot. This is this is how we this is how we work in my world. There we are, another 50 straw. And honestly, it's probably easier to go back this way. will empty my inventory out. Uh, we might need to do another like little sorting out session pretty soon. Uh, for now I could probably get away with a little sort of all. But there is a lot of stuff in my inventory that yeah needs proper proper sorting. I wonder blessing pendant whether that would something I could wear actually well, I've still got yeah I was gonna say I've still got an accessory slot that I haven't used nice an extra five defense is always useful uh, okay next thing I want to do is get into my planting mode I think I'll just put the potatoes in here So hopefully after this second round of stuff, oh, it's going to be eight days for those mushrooms, good grief. After this second round of stuff, um, hopefully, we should be starting to get a bit, uh, I should be getting a level two, I would think. Anything else I can plant? Put a couple more wheat seeds down or something. I don't have... Well, actually, I do have the straw to do this. So I could still plant a whole load of stuff in this soil as well. I think eventually I'll put some tree and coffee seeds in, but... Tree and coffee seeds? Tea and coffee seed tree. That's what I meant by that. In there. I'll put some more wheat in. But if you can get it to level four, it will turn into the type of soil that doesn't need the straw anymore. And that's what I am looking forward to. There we go. It's all watered at the moment, so that should be fine. Okay, well that's that bit done. What do we want to do next? I need to get data discs, 100%. Um... I could talk to Unsure and do the paint dry thing. We'll have a look at what we need for the pew repair. Waiting for a diagram. Making a deputy cap. Let's see. Is that going to be a tailoring bench thing or a workbench thing? I think it might be a workbench thing then. Oh, I need a pigment to Vivi's store. I might actually be able to make pigment on my blender now, though. So we can maybe be a bit less reliant on Elsie's... Oh, sorry. 
I was looking right at Elsie. A Vivi store. So let's get some pigment. And then we can make a deputy hat. Okay, so deputy cap, go! Still working on things like the bronze frames. I'm just going to have a look and see how much... Um... Oh, we're totally out of metal as well. So we're out of metal, we're out of data discs. Yeah, that is 100% a trip to the ruins. But before I do that, I want to do a little bit more sorting out of things. So that's turning into a little bit of a food chest there, I think. Mm. Yeah, I probably don't need all this food, honestly. Keep the jerky, because it's a good present. Home editing toolkit. I won't need it now. already in there. I'm keeping the opal out actually. That is supposed to be for relics but I will put I could put clothes in there as well I guess. And bombs. And metal. Okay, that'll do, that'll do for now. I really need to get some more storage boxes um, next time the Mysterious Man's around, which I think is usually the 20th or 21st. Uh, every time he comes around, I will make absolutely sure that the big storage boxes get bought from him, because they're amazing. But in the meantime, I think just for the rest of the day, I'm gonna head into the mines. Um, I think I've had a couple of days where I forgot to get the chip off this guy. I won't remember every day, but I'll try and remember when I go past or basically when I remember. I don't know. Okay, so I've got a simple circuit there. And um, I will have a look and see whether we are getting close to to being able to upgrade the scanner because I cannot wait. Uh, once we can I'll go and just find one of every type of I'm in that. I will get one of every type of relic it'll be really really good the golden candlestick the camera, the cable bridge the fish fossil the golden bull head all of those can go in the museum and then people will love me they'll be like Ah, oh, look at that thing. It's so gorgeous. So, let's see. Analysis chip. Yes! We have enough. That is amazing. So now we've got all the first level stuff for that. Um, and then when... I think these are all higher level things that I can't get at the moment. Other than... Oh yeah, that's, a, that's an upgraded glass, I think. I have one of those. Hmm, okay. Good job. So if I had one more power stone, I could upgrade the gas core on the jetpack. And if I had a few more metal coils, which seemed to be something that I get from... The metal coils seem to be something I get from the uh, hazardous rooms a little bit more frequently. But it'll be nice now because I'll be able to see I'm about to see things. So I need data discs, I need copper, and I need tin. Those are the things I need the most while I'm in here. Just so I can remember. So looking for fossils at the moment is not a huge priority. The 
priority at the moment is just getting the metals and the data disks. I want enough data disks so that when I get the um, upgraded recycler in the morning, I'll be able to immediately go and get a... Ah, get you, get you, get you, get you, get you, get you. When I get the upgraded recycler in the morning, I'll also be able to get an upgraded furnace. Every time I get one of those guys, I get a piece of gold. And that, to me, is worth um, a good few points of friendship with quite a few people. So, definitely worth getting. Level 10 is very good for, like, lots and lots and lots and lots of tin and copper. It would be really nice as well if I could get through to level 11. I just want to keep an eye on how many data disks I've got. I think I'm going to need something around the area of about 14 of them. I've got seven so far. So I need to be a bit careful. I'm also going to just have a little look where the exit is. Because I would love to just get through to level 11. That was the most rubbish amount of stuff I've ever got from one of those explosions. I swear. Going down this way. Just gonna dig through here. And find our way to level 11. Lovely. There'll be plenty of metal down there as well. I just didn't want to not find my way to level 11. Uh, ooh. A nice chest here. With 500 goals, uh, an elegant small lamp, a railway construction masterpiece. Oh, very nice. With my little reward for finding my way down here. And there's a vending machine down here as well with heat stroke medicine, pieces of the jeweled egg, pieces of the DNA model. Nice! Gives you plus 100% stamina. Wow. Well, that's something I would like to come back for at some point. <laughs> yeah, I need my pick hammer back, don't I? data disks and things. Right, data disks. How many do I have? I have 11. Ooh, could do with some more. I'll be 12. Thirteen. I want at least 14. I think that's how many I need more would be ideal just in case it is more so that I've got 14 now look a secret level With lots of copper and lots of tin I'll get a little bit more tin and then I'm out of here Except that there's a mole down here. So that's a couple of pieces of gold today. Lovely. Right, now it's time to go home. So we have reached the bottom of the ruins. We're not on the 8th yet, are we? We're on the 7th though. So I think I need to go and make a big fat donation. I, I just need to reinstate my ad, but I need to make a big fat donation to the um... Oh no. Let's hope that I can do that tomorrow still. Otherwise I've lost my chance. Well it's past midnight anyway, so I'm going to have sleepy eyes no matter what. So do you know what? I'm going to go and make the donation now. 
I've been saving up my money. I've got quite a bit of money. Um, and I'll hopefully be able to just help as much as I can. But And I know it would be 500 more if I didn't have to have the horse. 62%. Donate to increase the donation meter. Donate more to get better rewards after the donation campaign ends. So it's um, apparently going to be until the 8th. I've donated as much as I can. And I will try my best uh, to donate some more tomorrow if they will let me. But I wanted to make sure I put a donation in before it got to the 8th. Because just in case it took the donation thing away. Okay. I would be quicker to run than to go on that slow, slow horse. <laughs> so, gonna just head to bed now. And I think it's time to end the episode there as well. It's been a little bit a less of a long episode today because of the pure amount of mining and things. When you're mining a lot, it is shorter. And when you're doing a lot of um, questing and you've got a lot of cutscenes, then it's a lot longer. But that's going to be the end of this episode, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the vid... See, I knew it. Um, what was I going to say? They completely distracted me, so we'll start again. So, um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.